Hi everyone, this is Shun Yu Ke from Shanghai Jiao Tong University. Today, I'm very glad to show our work about neural architecture search for predicting spatial temporal graph data. Spatial temporal graph, such as urban traffic, cloud flow, and air quality, is a typical structure to describe spatial temporal data in urban areas. Recently, a growing number of spatial temporal neural networks has been proposed for spatial temporal graph prediction in the top conferences and the journals. They enable many applications in a modern city, such as air quality prediction and traffic prediction. However, design an ST neural network is not easy since the heterogeneous spatial temporal correlations of different tasks. For example, due to the characteristic of vehicles, the correlation of the bike flow are very different from the taxi flow. Moreover, since the differences in the road network structure and the economic level, even the same task in different cities would have diverse spatial temporal correlations. Therefore, there is no neural network suitable for all scenarios. People usually consume plenty of time to design neural architectures for specific tasks which requires extensive experience in spatial temporal data. So there are rising demand for neural architecture search for ST graphs. Our work aims to design an algorithm that can find a suitable neural architecture and predict future spatial temporal data with given historical data. Without losing generality, we employ the traffic prediction as the task to study NAS on ST graph. Here is the mathematical formulation of the problem. It finds the optimal architecture of the evaluation datasets whose parameters are chained by the training datasets. However, NAS for ST graphs meets the following two challenges. First, at the network architecture level, how to define search space to capture ST correlations. Here is a diagram of the road network and the five sensors. When traffic congestion occurs at node V0, it first affects the traffic speed at V0 for a period, which reflects the temporal correlation. Then, the congestion would spread to the nearby road and the reading of those sensors would affect it, which reflects the spatial correlation. Moreover, it is also hard to learn the parameter weights related to the attributed graph at the network parameter level. There are two sub-questions. The first is how to use the attributes of nodes and aids. For example, both V1 and V2 are directly connected to V0, where V1 is far from V0 and V2 is close to. Therefore, the spatial correlations between the readings of them are pretty different. And the second question is about the graph structures. Let's focus on the edge V0, V2, and V3, V4. They have the same length and width, so the correlation between points in the two pairs should be similar when only considering the edge attributes. However, since the traffic congestion often occurs at V0 and usually affects V2, while such a situation rarely occurs between V3 and V4, it leads to different spatial correlations. That means the property of nodes may affect the representation of edges.
So we propose another framework named AutoSTG to solve the challenges above. In order to capture ST correlations, the search space is consisting of a candidate operation set, including spatial convolution, temporal convolution, and other widely used operation in NAS. As ST correlations are related to the attributed graph, we first learn the graph methodology by the attributes and the structure of a ST graph, and then employ meta learning to generate ways of spatial convolution and temporal convolution. Here is the framework of AutoSTG. We design a convolutional cell-based search space. The search architecture of each cell is a DAG. Specifically, we employ the spatial convolution and the temporal convolution to capture spatial temporal correlations. Moreover, we propose a graph meta learner to extract the logic from the attributed data. To capture the impact of the attributed data, the adjacency matrices of the spatial convolution and the kernels in temporal convolutions are generated from the methodology of edge and nodes. Next, we will illustrate two convolutional operations, the graph methodology learner and the meta learner in detail. We use a typical spatial convolution to capture the correlations between a sensor and its neighbors. Some previous works have proved that this operation can model dynamic spatial correlation effectively. Then we use a simple convolution along the time x to capture temporal correlations. Compared with recurrent networks, it can run in parallel and uh, capture long-term dependencies after several stacks. Note that the matrices and the kernels are learned from the methodology of the attributed graph. In AutoSCG, we design a graph meta knowledge learner containing a node learner and an edge learner. They update the representation of node and edge interactively. The node learner generates adjacency matrices using edge representations and updates node's representation by graph convolution, while the edge learner updates edge representation using the representation of both node and edge. By updating them iteratively, we can extract high-level features of the attributed graphs. After that, we can use edge methodology to generate a strengthency matrices with the following formula. Since we use the diffusion convolution, the weight can be calculated by a softmax mechanism. And for the temporal convolution, we generate the kernel from the methodology of node by a simple fully connected layer. We have introduced all the important components of AutoSTG. We adopt the same optimizing process of DAS to update the network parameter and the architecture parameter iteratively. Now we present the experimental results of AutoSTG. We evaluate AutoSTG on two widely used datasets. Let's call them P and M respectively. There are some details of the two datasets in the table. We employ three categories of models as baseline algorithm, including two conventional models for deep ST model and two NAS model. We use MAE and RMSE as evaluation metrics. 
The table shows the overall performance of Auto STG and other baselines. On the P dataset, Auto STG achieved the state of the art and it reduced at least 2% ERO compared with the previous works. While on the M dataset, Auto STG also achieves a good result with the smallest RMSE. In ablation studies, we first investigate the necessity of the two convolutional operations in search space. The results show that the spatial convolution and the temporal convolution are essential to capture complex spatial temporal correlations and predict STG data accurately. Then, we conduct experiments to verify the effectiveness of each framework components by using different NAS methods. As shown in the figure, all these components can improve the performance. Now, we present some results of the empirical study of learned architectures. As the distributions in the fiction, vehicles often keep high speed in P dataset, while the speed in M dataset is much slower, which indicates small traffic jams. Intuitively, when traffic, traffic congestion occurs, the traffic of a node has a more significant impact on the traffic of nearby nodes. In contrast, if vehicles keep high speed, the traffic speed of nodes is less correlated. We present the distribution of Pearson correlations between all pairs of nodes in the figures. It shows that the traffic data of P dataset is less correlated than that of M dataset. Thus, Predicting the traffic speed in M data set requires more special convolution operation to achieve a large receptive field and capture long distance special correlations. As shown in the right picture, the architectures for the M data set contain nearly double special convolution operations than the P dataset. It demonstrates that our auto STG can find a customized architectures according to dataset properties. Finally, make a brief conclusion. In this paper, we propose a novel NAS framework entitled Auto SCG to the best of our knowledge. We are the first to study NAS for spatial temporal graph prediction. We adopt spatial convolution and temporal convolution in the search space to model spatial temporal correlations and use a meta learning technique to learn the network parameters. Furthermore, we conducted extensive experiments on two real world datasets. The results show that Auto STG can find effective architectures. Both code and the datasets are available at GitHub. Thank you for listening.